Thanks, Jim. You're right. We've got some outstanding customers with us today who are excited to show us some real industrial service experiences that showcase that AR is indeed ready for the enterprise. Now, joining me here in the garage are Jens and Simon from KTM. KTM develops and produces race-ready off-road and street motorcycles that are distributed through more than 1,700 independent dealers around the world. Guys, thank you for being with us here today. We are happy to be here, Mike. KTM's strategy is to grow our business globally. Our goal is to become the world's biggest manufacturer of sport motorcycles. We are already growing rapidly, but one of our challenges in the new growth markets is the lack of experience. This can make it challenging to get repairs made correctly, and it can be difficult to make those repairs on time. Jens, we've been talking about uh, augmented reality in the enterprise. So how do you see KTM benefiting from AR both now and into the future? We see a huge potential in augmented reality as a way to help us address the service challenges. It can allow our technician to perform service faster, even with little or none experience on our bikes. Our vision for technician is to run diagnostics and know exactly what is going on with the bike even before they begin. Augmented reality will help us deliver a more consistent level of service around the globe. And because action speaks so much louder than words, we are also exploring a lower translation costs since our manuals will require less text in them. So faster and cheaper service. That sounds great. Uh, let's take a look at our live example. Absolutely, Mike. Simon here is a new technician, and he doesn't have a lot of experience working on KTM bikes. Since all the bikes here in the shot are smart connected bikes, Simon can manage his work from one dashboard on his iPad. We are looking at the service technician app built by PTC and KTM, New Think Thing Works. Here is a list of all the bikes that need servicing today. He is going to work on the first bike on his list, the 690 Duke. Here we see detailed information about the bike. The customer reports a warning light and noticed a higher fuel consumption. Normally, a technician would rely on his experience and diagnose based on what the customer told him and refer to the manual. But Simon is going to use Apps Diagnostics to figure out the problem. It looks like the Lambda probe is causing the issue. OK, but Simon is a new technician, right? So how does he know where the Lambda probe is located in the bike? Exactly, he doesn't. But just uh, by selecting Show Me, he finds out. Using AR, it seem, he can see the location on the, of the Lambda probe. So wow, that's so helpful to see the marrying of that 3D CAD data with the reality of the bike right here in front of us. Right. Simon can clearly see that the probe's connection is up behind this panel. Now he needs to know how to get behind it and check the connection. The app shows him how to remove the panel. With the panel off, Simon is able to access the probe and check the connection. Okay, Jens, while Simon does the work on the bike, uh, can you tell us about some of the other use cases for augmented reality that KTM is considering? We want to use AR to present clear compiling information in the context of the actual product. Of course, as we have seen here, there is tremendous value in AR for technical training, whether the technician is in the classroom or back in his workshop. AR can help to understand the product much easier. We are also expecting the use of AR for marketing and sales to create a richer experiences for our customer to learn more about our bikes. Well, Jens, it looks like the Lambda probe wasn't properly connected, but now it's reconnected. Okay, great. Let's check if the issue is solved. The bike is still connected, so let's run another diagnostics again. As we can see now, the issue is solved. Thanks, Simon. Great job. We believe AR will really speed up more complex tasks 
by allowing the technician to find information and understand the product much faster than today. That's outstanding, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here, for showing off the demonstration, and for representing KTM at the Thing event. We are all really excited to see how AR is going to help KTM become the world's leading seller and servicer of motorcycles. Now, next we'll hear from Jill Newberg. She's in a medical lab working on some medical testing equipment. Jill, over to you. Thank you, Mike. I'm here in the lab with Steve and Pete from Sysmex America. Sysmex Corporation is the global leader in clinical hematology analyzers, information systems, and services that meet the high standards of today's clinical laboratories. Sysmex designs, manufactures, and services an innovative suite of hematology and urinalysis solutions. The goal of Sysmex is to use IoT technology and AR to enable the highest diagnostic instrument uptime for its customers. Thank you both for being here today. Steve, Sysmex was one of the first major companies to adopt the ThingWorks platform. Tell us about that. That's right, Jill. When Sysmex first investigated the ThingWorks technologies, we immediately foresaw and understood how we could leverage this really fantastic IoT platform to drive significant operational efficiencies for both Sysmex and for our customers. And AR is not new to Sysmex either, so how are you using AR technology today? Well, we've already been using Vuforia's AR for about three years. We've deployed a few simple AR techniques embedded in an iOS application which we call MySysmex to help our customers perform routine and, and not so routine operational tasks. Our service engineers already benefit from a connected environment that leverages ThingWorks, machine learning, and integrates data from various sources to help them deliver more, better and more proactive service. Because the Sysmex blood analyzers, like the one you see here, are smart, connected products, service engineers can already identify issues on the devices, remotely calibrate, predict several potential short-term causes of failure without even touching the analyzer. Wow. And how do you foresee Sysmex using AR into the future? Yeah, our goal is to leverage the integration of AR and IoT to improve efficiencies for our field staff and to provide our customers advanced tools to help them achieve their own operational efficiencies. AR technology can help make end users, in our case lab personnel, much more self-sufficient. That sounds great, Steve. And so what have you brought to show us today? Well, this is the Sysmex XN1000 Automated Hematology Analyzer. Your blood is supplied to the lab in lavender top tubes like this and analyzed by this XN. The iPad application, which we call My Sysmex, gives lab personnel detailed information about the analyzer, quality control status, service needs, and reagent levels based on their role. Great, and Pete is here with us as a lab technician and end user operator. So Pete, can you show us how it works? Well, here we see a list of all the analyzers that Pete has in his lab. Notice that he's selecting an analyzer that has two service tasks to be performed. One requires a Sysmex field service engineer. The other can be performed by the operator. Pete selects the RBC clog and begins walking through a series of instructions. His first task is to initiate an automated cleaning cycle. He simply selects start the cleaning cycle on the iPad. Well, it's evident here in real time that the automated clean cycle was not able to resolve this clog. So Pete's next task is to perform a manual cleaning, which he really doesn't do very often. So this is the perfect place for augmented reality assistance. So Pete opens the front lid of the analyzer to get to the AR marker on the device. The first step in seeing the augmented reality overlaid on the analyzer is to scan the marker with this MySysmix iPad. Here we see that Pete needs to power off the analyzer before he can continue. So the MySysmix application confirms that the analyzer is powered off. With the device turned off, Pete can proceed through an animated steps demonstrating how to remove the RBC aperture cover and access the aperture. It also demonstrates the proper cleaning technique that Pete must follow. So after Pete is done cleaning the aperture, the AR in the app shows Pete how to put the analyzer back together again. So you can see how powerful AR is here, providing easy to follow, 
highly graphical steps to help end users perform tasks like this quickly, thereby reducing the downtime of the analyzer. That's wonderful, Steve. So by making the MySysMex iPad application with AR technology available for your industry-leading blood analyzers, we can yeah. see how SysMex is really shaping the healthcare of tomorrow. Clearly, SysMex is already one of the front runners when it comes to technological innovations in the service sector. The AR technology you just showed us is really poised to take that to the next level. So tell us, what else are you currently working on? One of our initiatives we have with PTC and Vuforia is investigating the use of digital eyewear and how we integrate various sources to data, of data to provide information just in time to our support staff. Imagine how productive a service engineer can be when he uses a pair of ODG glasses like these and experiences the AR example you saw fully immersed and hands-free. This can really help deliver service efficiencies and more standardized procedures to fix our instruments and make sure all potential analyzer performance issues are addressed. Thank you so much, Steve and Pete, for sharing the SysMex story with us. And now, let's take a look at how AR is providing significant business value for one of the largest companies in the world, Caterpillar. My name is Jim Wagner. I work at Caterpillar's Technical Information Solutions Group as the visualization architect for our service publications. My role is really to make our products more visual for our customers to be able to understand the service information. Augmented reality is a major initiative at Caterpillar. It has major applications in service. We know from studies that Caterpillar has done that about 30% of a technician's time is spent looking for information and trying to uh, digest that information. You're seeing something with a model placed in the context, you can zoom it, understand it a lot easier. A young millennial came into the dealership and was handed a huge manual, and he says, don't you just have a YouTube clip that I can watch? And that's the ease that we need to do with augmented reality to get quick knowledge transfer from the experience to the novice. Having your experience connected with your customer is really a major initiative. Caterpillar's trying to get millions of assets connected and the appeal to be able to leverage the CAD data and sensory data for service is to be able to provide that customer with real-time support. That's really where we see augmented reality playing a major role. That is truly amazing stuff. Just to make sure it's not lost on anybody, let me review all of the technology that was pulled together in those demonstrations. Each demonstration involved data from enterprise systems like CAD and PLM and service applications like SLM. Along with sensor data that we connected or that we gathered from the connected product, we drew that information together in our ThingWorks IoT platform and then created and augmented experiences back onto the physical product using the Vuforia AR technology. And while service may be a great place to start, we know it's just the tip of the iceberg. At PTC, with this vision and the investment we've put behind it, we are completely transforming our business. First, we've established a new high growth business unit focused on delivering innovative technology platforms, including ThingWorks and Vuforia, that enable individuals to connect to things, to analyze the data coming from them, to develop powerful applications, and to build these incredible new experiences that change the way that humans interact with things. At the same time, we're reconceiving our best-in-class enterprise solutions portfolio and we're delivering a new generation of state-of-the-art solutions that transform how companies create, operate, and service things for a smart, connected world. In addition, PTC is playing a key role as a catalyst to bring together the IoT ecosystem. And a great example of that is our partnership with ServiceMax. ServiceMax develops software to help manage field service technicians 
and has a strategy for empowering those technicians with smart, connected product information. Let me introduce the ServiceMax CEO, Dave Yarnold, so that he can share with us how he sees ServiceMax capitalizing on augmented reality and the Internet of Things. Dave? Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Thank it's you. Great to be here. It's great to have Thanks you. Thanks for having us. It's great to be here. I think we have long shared the vision that service is truly the killer app for IoT. And likewise, we share PTC's vision of the disruptive power that augmented reality could have when applied in the service realm. At ServiceMax, we've spent the better part of the past decade helping manufacturing companies transform how they deliver great service. We've been 100% focused on providing the world's best field service software solutions. That experience has led us to understand the vast potential for smart, connected product information to completely disrupt how value is created in today's service organizations. In the era of the Internet of Things, service teams now have a direct feedback loop from the products they service. They can use analytics to completely understand what is truly happening with those products. This means service becomes proactive where the objective is to prevent problems from ever happening rather than fixing them after they occur. Eliminating unplanned downtime is truly one of the largest potential chunks of value that will come out of the Internet of Things. So Dave, it's clear that we share a vision for how the IoT will transform customer service. Can you tell the audience a little bit about how our companies have been collaborating together to capitalize on this opportunity? Yeah, no, I'm happy to do that. So last year we first started partnering with PTC and we've now jointly developed our connected field service product. Now imagine if you're a global manufacturer, you have a fleet of products deployed around the world within your customer base. Now any one of those products can send you an alert, a temperature reading, a weird vibration, some kind of change throughput, any of which could be a warning of impending failure. Based upon connected field service integrated with ThingWorks, a work order can be generated automatically and a field service tech can be dispatched to the customer site proactively resolving the issue before it ever occurs. It's a complete transformation of the service equation and it's available today. Great, so we get how IoT will transform service, but this event is focused on AR for the enterprise. What's your point of view on that? Well, I have to say it warms my heart to see all those demonstrated examples of AR in a service setting. We see the transformation continuing with the use of AR. As products have increased in complexity and service teams deal with workforces where service engineers are aging and retiring, taking their vast tribal knowledge with them, the challenge of delivering the knowledge needed for success in the field has become a top of mind issue for most service organizations. That's where AR comes in. Delivering instructions for service procedures visually superimposed on the product itself provides immediate advantages. First of all, locating and accessing the product or the product issue at the customer site. Ensuring safety, understanding how to correctly open up the product. Doing a complete diagnostic evaluation of the issue and then ultimately executing the repair procedure with the highest probability of success. We are just now beginning to see the possibilities and there's no question that the opportunity for AR is huge in service. For those of you who are interested in learning more, ServiceMax and PTC are partnering to deliver a roadshow series of education seminars around the country. You can find the details, the dates, the locations on our website, servicemax.com. That's really great stuff, Dave. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be working with ServiceMax to deliver the killer apps for IoT and augmented reality in the enterprise.